morning in Old Town. It happened on Northwest 2nd and Cooch. That's near the Burnside Bridge. Liz Birch has been on the scene all day. She joins us outside Central Precinct tonight. Liz, this is a concerning thing because we're already off to a violent start following last year's record year for homicides in Portland. Jeff, we certainly are, and we actually just learned from police in the last couple of minutes that they've responded to seven shootings in the past 24 hours, including that deadly shooting in Old Town. They're going to call in additional resources from the weekend, they tell us, and that is because of what they call this concerning surge in gun violence. Keep in mind, it's already been a very violent January. With the shooting now, and that's much of, you know, you know, people who carry guns out there, it's like scary for all of us. Yeah. You know, sometimes I have to shut my door. You know. That most recent fatal shooting was just after 2 a.m. in the heart of Portland's now notorious Old Town. Police tell me as of this afternoon, so far this year, we've had 88 total shootings, injuring 21 people and killing seven. The red dots on this map show where the fatal shootings have been in Portland, and you can see they are pretty spread out throughout the city. But the folks we talked to in Old Town tell us the shootings there are constant, and they say they impact everyone. The shootings have been like every corner on, on Old Town. Sometimes like the, the cops, you know, running, coming, you know, crowd of cars, but we don't know what's happened, you know. We don't know, maybe someone dead in his tent or someone got shot or wounded. Najib Buhim has owned this cafe for six years. How has business changed and how has this area changed in the last six years? Oh, it's dead. It's dead. He says the crime happening here now reminds him of the 80s and 90s. He's lost track of all the shootings in the area. How do you think that we can make Old Town safer? What do you want to say to the city? Uh, for me, just, you know, have, have you no know, place for people to live to stay and, you know, spend the winter at least, or uh, the hard days, you know. Tents is not a, it's not like a solution. And we need like some cops cars, you know, circle.